You know what I'm realizing more and more as time goes on, regardless of how hard I try, stress doesn't go away. In fact, I'm realizing its importance in my life. Stress is revealing, challenging, and crucial if I want to continue evolving and growing as a person, wife, mother, sister, and friend. But in order to live in a way where stress can be a guide rather than an obstruction, I have to rest. I have to recover. Otherwise, I stay in this chronic state of stress, and I know from experience that that's absolutely not sustainable, nor is it an enjoyable lifestyle. So where do I do the majority of my resting? Where are you doing the majority of your resting and rejuvenating? The home. The home is our safe place. It's a place where we can be fully ourselves, a place where we can unwind, relax, and rejuvenate. But is that possible if our home is crowded, cluttered, and messy? I think we all would have the same answer. We need peace. We need space. We need clarity if we're going to give ourselves the best possible chance to heal, even if it's just for the night. Today, I have a few habits to share with you that will create a more simplified space and one where rest can be a priority in the home. for this video you guys because you learn these things one time and you can use them for the rest of your life before I get started I want to let you guys know that I'm running a free masterclass on how to effectively and quickly declutter any space it's a strategy that's been proven time and time again to help you get the project started to finish and to actually feel those benefits save your seat below and let's get into the video the first place I'm gonna start is the bedroom and when it comes to the bedroom make it easy to relax this is for you this is not for anybody else this is for you you need the rest i know you do while we're on that subject let's talk about the sponsor of this video this is nothing new to you guys it's bowl and branch everything i have on my bed everything you see bowl and branch bowl and branch is a favorite in our home and why i chose to work with them is because we rely on them certified organic high quality, cozy. They get softer with every single wash bedding. Pillows also included, but I love it. We've been using Bold Ranch for two years now. And what I wanna to highlight today is the percale sheets. They're known for their cooling properties. Percale is a type of weave and yes, they use organic materials. And in the summer, <laughs> my husband is the hottest human on the planet. Yes, he is hot as in temperature, but he is also hot as in incredibly handsome. It was so cheesy, I'm so annoyed with myself. Anyway, let's continue. I'm totally blushing, I'm blushing. Ugh. But from their sheets to their duvet insert to their duvet cover, we have the signature set and we love it. Easy to clean. It's so unbelievably soft. This bed blanket I love because I'm not like a super fuzzy gal and a super soft gal. I like a little bit of texture and my husband likes soft things. So it's a good balance. All of their pillowcases are super high quality. I can't say enough good things about this company and we even have some of their towels. I just, when a company is doing things the right way, they're my essential, they're my go-to. And for that reason, I wanted to share them with you guys. I've done the research, they're legit and they actually care about us as a consumer, which is a big deal for me. If you're interested in restocking or maybe adding some of these really intentional and high quality pieces to your home, you can use my code MARGARET20 and the link down below for 20% off your purchase. Thank you again, Bowen Branch. I personally adore you all. Let's get back to the video. Number two, put your technology away. The amount of overstimulation we're all experiencing right now can just be lowered. <laughs> If we learn how to properly put our technology away, I've tried everything under the sun, you guys, and I'm gonna give you my tried and true ways of not having to be more disciplined, not having to mentally always be strong, but just these easy habits that have helped me create really powerful and strong boundaries with technology. Number one are amber light bulbs from Cozy, K-O-Z-E, red light therapy. We get rid of all the bright blue lights at the end of the night to help calm our bodies, 
produce that healthy melatonin. All we did was replace all of our lamps with these gorgeous amber light bulbs. And our nights are relaxed and warm because of this amber light bulb. Number two, the Aura Box. This isn't new, but you guys, I underestimated the power of actually putting my phone somewhere instead of, again, having to have this discipline in my mind. And the strength, too, at the end of a long day to say, no, I'm not gonna look at my phone. No, all I needed to do was put the phone in the box. Not to mention, it's gorgeous. It has a charger inside. It's amazing, it's where we put our phones at the end of the night, they sleep there all night long. And when we just need a break on the weekend, it's just where it goes. Our kids love the RO box too, by the way, because it means mom and dad are here and they're present. I really do try to bring them along with me in the process because they're gonna have phones one day too. So I'm just trying to say like, look, Mom and dad, boys, can you go put these in the RO box? Like, we're all together, okay? Last one is why I'm standing in front of this gorgeous print. This is a canvas print by Cove Prints. Look at her, look at her. She's framed, so gorgeous. I got to pick out the print and I got to pick out the frame. And then what I did is I drilled. It was like 10.30 at night, one night. My husband Tay was already in bed reading. He comes out and I have like these goggles on and the drill going. I'm like, I'm gonna make this work. But I got this with a dream vision. I got the dimensions and everything to hook on these brackets and then just hook it on our TV. And you guys, it worked. Ignore the back because it had a gorgeous paper like protecting the canvas. So I had to rip that a little bit. Didn't hurt the artwork but I just drilled in these things. I'll link them below if you guys are interested in doing the same, but like, this is a thick, dense wood. Drilled those puppies in, and here we go. Let's put it back up. I think that's my favorite thing, my favorite hack of all time, this. Not only do I obviously watch less, but my kids stop asking. All you need is a solid wood frame, some brackets, a drill, some screws. TV situation solved. Look how beautiful it is too. Just. Changes every day. Number three, make your goal clean and decluttered countertops. Now, I have three little boys. We live in a department. It's not clean all the time, but my goal is after breakfast, after lunch, after dinner, at the end of the night, clean countertops. Just make it easy, Margaret. Clean it up. The visual relief that you get from just a clean space is really, really powerful. And because that's my goal, they stay tidy almost all the time. Almost, because again, mother of three little boys. Reduce your countertops, not only in your kitchen, but in your bathroom, on your dining room table, your TV console, your dressers. Reduce the visual clutter, add something natural, a plant, a warm light. I'm not saying be super bland, but I am saying protect yourself from the subconscious stress that happens when you see too much and you have too many thoughts going through your head when you see too many things. On to the next one. Number four, in the world of Amazon and the world of social media, I am encouraging you to really learn how to live with contentment. As someone who has struggled majorly with this in the past, I feel very strongly about this topic. I even created an entire course that starts with helping you shift your mindset before you declutter a single thing in your life. If you truly wanna simplify, if you wanna slow down, if you wanna feel deep, soul-shifting peace, you have to start here and here. And only for my YouTube subscribers and my YouTube viewers do I give you this discount, but you can enter the code YouTube and get $50 off my course. I want you to benefit from it. I'll leave a review down below that brought me to tears recently. If you're looking to change your life, but you need an approach that's gentle, practical, and won't overwhelm you even more, this is for you. But when it comes to minimal home habits, contentment can be practiced everywhere. Whether it's the way your home is designed, be content with how it is right here, right now. Find joy in that and you'll live a happy life. It won't be happy when or happy if. Be right here, right now. What about your food? What about your pantry? I say this because I can be jealous of other people's pantries and discontent. It's a weird thing, but I always promise you guys that I'm honest and that's me being honest. <laughs> be content with what you have. I have to give thanks. I have to say, I am so grateful for what I have and what's right in front of me and what I get to nourish my body with. Whether it's your skincare products or your makeup, anywhere across the board, you can really practice gratitude. And I say the biggest way to do that is by just giving thanks and saying, you know what? I'm so grateful I have what I have because I know you know that 
our cards could have been dealt differently. And a lot of what we have, there's plenty of people that don't have that. Take your shoes off, leave them at the door. Apparently, America's the only country that doesn't do this. What's up, USA? We got issues, okay? When I ask people to take off their shoes, they look at me like I have four eyes, okay? Take them off, less toxins, less yuck in your home, but also less clutter. Clutter attracts clutter, never forget. I'm gonna say it again so you don't forget it. Clutter attracts clutter. This is such an easy hack. Take it, steal it. I'll link the shoe rack if you need, it's cute. I'm like a bamboo vibe. Minimal home habit number six, open door policy. This might not be for everybody, but it's certainly for us. When I chose to simplify, and live minimally, it was because the things that matter in my life weren't at the forefront. One of the biggest things that matters in my life, one of the greatest gifts all of us have in life are relationships. And when I just wasn't comfortable with welcoming people into my home, that was clutter just weighing on me, like my home's not clean enough or my kids are acting up or I don't have an amazing dinner prepared. All of that is clutter that if you just let that go, welcome people into your life for exactly who you are right here, right now. That's where the goodness and the richness of life will really reveal itself to you. Richness that has nothing to do with money as you can see. And I will say that having a decluttered and minimal home makes it so easy to tidy up in a pinch. Cause again, mother of three boys it's not always amazing in here but it is easy to clean up and i changed that because i was drowning in clutter and toys and mess honestly it was my kids who brought me here and the fact that i wasn't enjoying my thread okay i'm getting on a big tangent i've got plenty of other videos that talk on that exact point i'm so excited i could talk forever about this but I don't wanna waste your time, so let's go to the next point. Okay, the seventh minimal home habit. Don't be afraid of space. I would even say prioritize space. And when you're shopping or browsing or looking for something, keep this in the back of your head. If there's not room for it, don't bring it in your home. Space is so healthy for you. Like physical space in your home is a high vibration. I know this is gonna sound so hippie, but clutter and mess and bleh, that's a low vibration and that brings your vibration down. Everything has an effect on how your body is vibrating. High vibrations are where we wanna be. They're, they put us into a state of healing, a state of wellness. Space is a very high healing vibration. So once you know that, I want you to look around your house Look in your garage, look in all these places that are places of storage. Ask yourself, is this stuff actually serving me? Is this allowing me to live and rest and enjoy myself in my home or is it just taking up space? Your home is not a place of storage. This is another mindset tip, but mindset is just as important as practical tips. That brings me to my next point, which is the way you decorate your home. This may tick some people off that are really good at designing you know what i th this is no offense to you none at all okay but if your home is a place if you truly want your home to be a place where you're feeling safe and relaxed and you're able to rejuvenate get your inspiration from something that relaxes and rejuvenates you nature don't get it from trends that are gonna come and go. That creates stress. Is it still in style or is it gone? Don't get your inspiration from a 10 second clip on Instagram. Get rid of all of that stuff. Go to nature, go to a place where you are so relaxed, where you breathe deeply, where you feel like your normal self. Bring that into your home as much as you can. I don't know a single person who says they don't feel wonderful and rejuvenated and relaxed when they spend intentional time outside. Why aren't we bringing that inside? That's one of my favorite and most utilized tips in the last couple years in my life is just letting go of those trends, letting go of the cool stuff and protecting my central nervous system and my family's central nervous system by welcoming the colors of nature and things that we love from God's creation into our home. It makes this place peaceful. I hope these tips helped you guys. I truly wish you the best. Happy resting, happy relaxing, happy simplifying and I'll see you guys in my next video.